You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and I'm just gonna be playing Metroid SP on the Nintendo Switch Online. And you'll notice that I'm playing the Famicom Disk System version. Um, just so to make it a bit different. Well, the main difference that I can find at least is the the sound, the audio, there's some different voices and sound effects, but gameplay should be mostly the same. There is the um, save feature that's uh, similar to Zelda, as opposed to the NES password system. The password system enabled us to do some crazy setups with the game. Like you're able to start with the zero suit at once. Uh, things like those. As opposed to the save system here. Uh, well, that's because the Famicom disk system is uh, the disks are writable that's why they're able to save progress so it's not really like a ugh, battery backup feature and for those wondering what's the difference in the SP version in the switch um, I'm sure you noticed that I started right away with the a lot of energy tanks and missiles, screw attack, ice beam, bombs, and I'm in front of Ridley. That's not a save state there. When you load up the game, you actually start in front of Ridley. And I guess it's sort of a cross promotion with the Smash Ultimate when it was released December. 2018 and Ridley became finally a playable character so they wanted to show off like who is Ridley where did he come from originally at least and um, yeah that's what makes it special I guess <laughs> Um, it's a nice bonus, although critics may find that it's it's kind of like spoiling today's generation of gamers. Everything has to be handheld for them. But uh, I grew up from the Nintendo hard era. NES challenge and uh, I still think it's a good thing to have more options there's nothing wrong with it you know at this point I just want to relax and have fun Wait, am I going the right way am I going the right way I don't I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's see. I hope I am. Oh yeah, right, here we go. So there you see a lot of like a uh, it hanged, but it's not really because this is the part where you need to switch sides on the disk system. And since we're not using any disks right now, it just kind of simulates the hang, I guess. I mean, the loading. And yeah, uh, loading was a thing in the Famicom disk system. 
it's not something that came out, uh, came with the CD CD games wait am I that doesn't look right You'd think by now I'd memorize every corner of this game, but I guess not. It might be one of my most often played games, but up to now I still haven't really mastered it. I still tend to forget item locations, where to go Ish. it's still a it's still a fun game though It holds up pretty well, although I do love the GBA remake, the Zero Mission. That was extremely well done, to be honest. For me, that's how a remake should be. And I'm hoping they... I hope they bring that out in the switch of course there's no GBA titles at the moment but here's the thing we still don't know what's coming for the month of January 2019 I actually hope that it's a sign that um, they're gonna add um, more consoles like uh, you know, they go beyond the NES. They go with uh, a Super NES or GBA or N64. Anything. Anything beyond the NES. <laughs> Come on. We've been playing this same set of games for how many generations now? Not to say that they're bad. They're still good, they still hold up well, it's just that with the amount of games they have, you'd hope that, you know, try to diversify. Oh man, another wrong turn here. Uh, yep, like I said, not fully mastered. And even with the SP version, which should have made things easier. You know, one thing that would really make an SP version really special is uh, if they added like a, like a map. I know there's like a ROM hack out there. It actually does that it shows like uh, you know like the map you'd find in the GBA version or even the SNES version okay mother brain here we come well, let's hope I could finish this but I won't be surprised if I'm if I won't I'm as casual as they come. Not exactly a professional. No speedrunner. Sometimes I wish I am. But uh, I'll be honest. The stress level that you'll have to go through when speedrunning. Uh, 
I'd rather avoid it. <laughs> But yeah, I really applaud all the speedrunners out there. You're g you guys uh, rock. Maybe one day when I really find a game that I master. And I could play without really stressing over. Yeah. Nope, wrong turn. it I hope so how's everyone did I ask that already how's everyone's new, new year As you can see, Kraid is already defeated, so you just really needed to defeat Ridley and go to Mother Brain. Well, let's see if I can beat Mother Brain. Um, I do die here from time to time, especially you know the room with the doors and lots of donuts flying. It's not something I can do consistently, unfortunately. Even with tons of practice. If you can hear that, yeah, I know that sounds really different from the NES version. So, as we know, most uh, Famicom games are able to carry like extra sound chips making the audio much better. In the case of the uh, Famicom Disk System games, I think it has... it's capable of uh, like more RAM. So we can have b better sprites and sound effects. Uh oh, I hope he doesn't catch me. I hate those things. Of course, they are... Oh no! They are the reason we have this game. They're, they're literally the title. Alright, here we go. Can I do it? This is so frustrating sometimes. Oh. 
and if you've watched some speedruns, it's really amazing how they make everything look easy. Donuts. Come on, don't die now. Oh, jeez, I can't even get out of here. Okay. I think he's d she's dying. All right, can I make it? All right. I hope I make it. This would be a good way to start the year. And at least it's not completely embarrassing to upload to YouTube. And this would definitely deserve a rewatch in my end. Oh, and yet I still continue to make some mistakes even to the last second here. Ah, oh, finally. Alright, here we go. Enjoy the Famicom Disk System version ending of Metroid SP on Nintendo Switch. If there's any difference, please let me know. So I suppose I'm gonna get the money bag. Um, what was that? No, look, it's English. Yes, I fulfilled my mission. I'm gonna revive peace in the space. The other Metroid, is there like the other Metroid? Do I get a zero suit? Did they change the color? To match the Smash Ultimate? No. Huh. I um I don't recall that there were actually like a credit roll when you beat Metroid. I just kind of remember she waves goodbye and you press the button and you're back to the beginning again. Uh, it has been a while so I may just miss be I'm maybe just misremembering things. Well all right way to start the new year. And I know what you're thinking. Uh, I didn't really finish the game. This is the SP version. Well, you're probably right. I'll need to beat the game, the normal version game, not the SP version. I'll try to do that, yeah. Or I'm just gonna try to do a better speedrun of the SP version. Like I'm gonna time myself, see if I can beat it in a faster way, and I'll 
probably set a new category. Speedrun SP versions, which... Uh, what the heck. Anyway, let's see what happens if I press start now. Back to the beginning. Zero suit. Ooh, title screen. Oh yeah, money bag. Oh, there it is, money bag. And let's see how it looks like. Should be back to Brinstar. Okay, loading. No? Okay, I guess. I guess not. Hmm. Anyway, that's disappointing. But that's it for this video though. You're watching 8-bit days a week. Thanks for stopping by. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you soon, guys.